Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. I hope you're all okay. Now today we've got a bit of a DIY video for you. Um, we're gonna pop down the craft room. Really, really nice idea. Great for gifts, great also um, for selling, if you wanna sell them at craft fairs. Um, just a really cute idea. So let's pop down the craft room and we'll have a look now. Right, so let's crack on with the video. So these are the jars that I'm going to use. Little nice bit of writing there. You've got your little lid that you can take off. Now these ones have got the lids that actually come out like that. But what I'm going to do is just literally get some strong glue and just stick it round and stick the lid in so that stays in like that. So what I'm going to do is just take this outside and I'm going to spray it using some of this. This is just a, a chalk paint. It's fast drying, non-cracking, and it basically comes out like a bit of a powder. So I generally spray them outside and what I normally do is get it everywhere. Now you can use um, normal chalk paint. So if you've got any other chalk paint, you can use those. Um, and all you've got to do, just paint it straight on. If you've just got a little brush, just paint it straight on. Or you can do what I've done and spray it. So we'll just nip outside and we'll spray it with some chalk paint. So I've come outside to do them, but first make sure that you wash the jars in warm soapy water first. And all I'm going to do is just literally spray the uh, the chalk paint on like this. As I say, you can paint it if you want to, but I think this is easier. So we'll do that, I'll do that to all three, let that dry and then I'll whiz over it again. If it's not quite the finish that I want, then um, what I can do is I can always go over it with a bit of uh, a bit of paint, that should be fine. Oops, let's watch that from blowing up. But can you see, it's gone on quite nicely. So I'll do all three and then we'll do the next bit. Right, while these are drying, I'm going to go and make a cup of tea. We'll have a sit down and I'm going to show you a fantastic app that I've come across. And it's fantastic. If you like reading magazines and newspapers and things like that, like sitting down, chilling and reading, you will absolutely love it. Let's go make a brew and I'll show you now. Right, I've popped upstairs. I thought I'll have a chill on my bed, have a few minutes peace away from the kids, have a little flick through, and I thought I'd show you as well. So, I've got my cup of tea here. Now, the Readly app, you can get on tablets and iPads. You can also get it on your phones as well, our Androids, iPhones. Um, I've got Phoebe's iPad, because I thought it'd be easy to show you on an iPad. So, I'm going to turn it round and I'll watch the glare. If you get a glare on it, I'll try and tilt it, so obviously we um, we get rid of the glare. So this is what we've got. This, and what I've done is I've started to pop some bits on my content. So I've started and I've had a little look through. Fantastic, I was on a real good search through last night. So if we go on to Discover, there are so many magazines. You would not believe how many magazines are out and about. I honestly didn't think there were so many. There's over 7,000, over 7,000 magazines and newspapers that you can look at on this app. Now that is a lot, and that's a lot of subjects as well. So what you can do is you can search topics. So if there's a particular topic that you like, let's say, for instance, you like woodwork or something like that. There's a little wood section. There's celebrities and entertainment. There's boats and water sports, business, education, food and drink, home renovation, which would be quite a good one, wouldn't it? interior design honestly there are so many different topics there are, there is something for, for everybody there really really is there's wedding teens there's kids magazines so with the link that i've got you can get this with the link down below for six weeks absolutely free and you can cancel it for free at any time that's why i wanted to bring you this because i thought it's fantastic you can go on it it won't cost you anything and see if you like it if you want if you want to carry it on then you can subscribe and you know carry on and pay for it so let's say, for instance, we click on crafts and DIY because that is what we love. We love a little bit of craftiness on this channel, don't we? 
if you do knitting let's say crocheting cross stitch anything like that the amount of magazines that are for that and crafts you would not believe <laughs> honestly there are so 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 many and if you find a particular one you can favorite it i've done that for a few so say for instance you like um what should we pick knitting and crocheting i know i clicked on this one last night there's a little star um and you just click it like this to make it so it's um yellow or orange whatever that is and that puts it on your favorites and it goes on to your content so you can like hand pick cherry pick all the little subjects all the titles that you like and you can put them on your main page so if you want to just flick on that and go on that you can find them so you have all past copies as well look at all the past copies that you can get they go on and on and on honestly they're numbered you've even got like last a few christmases ago there you've got santa you think of all the patterns that we've got in this so if you if this is your thing because we do love this sort of thing don't we there are so much so this is what how you you go to it so you you um open it on your page if you want to skip pages you tap on it and then what happens is you get these little bits come up at the bottom and you can scroll through and pick whatever page you want or what you can do is just read it normally and then you just flick like that like you're reading just a magazine and you're, and you're turning the page let's say for instance this one if you want to make those little things at the top the patterns obviously are all there imagine how many patterns there would be how many patterns could you find in six weeks loads absolutely loads um so as i say you can bookmark them now what else you can do is you can download them so if you're going away let's say you're looking you're going away in hospital you go on holiday you've got a flight you you spend a lot of time at home anything like that if you if you download them you also won't need any internet so you can go to the title you can download them which puts them basically it saves them and then you won't need any internet connection to look at them so if you're going somewhere that hasn't got internet connection you can just read them through just the same so obviously you can do that there are so many different sections that you can you know click on and also there's newspapers too and it's not just used newspapers in the uk there are lots of we've got national we've got international newspapers there's the local ones you can even read your local um, magazine your local newspaper do you see what i mean or you can read, read one from across the world there's so much to choose so if you like knowing what's go knowing what's going on in other parts of the world this would be you know fab for that as well so when when readly approached me i thought this would be fantastic and i know lots of you will really love it i've got it on this ipad and i've also got it on my phone as well so all i did was download the app from the app store or you can do it from um you know if you've got android it works as well and it's all let me do it this way and it's all on my phone so i can just i mean i've got good food there i'll just click on that that looks a nice little spicy magazine i can just uh you know in the food sense of the word obviously and you can just click through like that i think it's fab so if you want to take advantage of the six weeks free it's 9.99 after that thereafter every month split it with five people there's a link down below you can click on that that enables you to have the six weeks free offer it all helps me as well thank you guys for supporting my channel and thank you to readly for supporting me as well um i very much appreciate it um so i'm going to leave you leave it with you if you do decide to um have a look and and you, you like what you see let me know in the comments down below it'd be lovely to you know have a chat with you guys about it as well but that's it from now. I'm going to go now and finish off doing our little craft. Right, that's our little break over. So we'll get back to doing the jars. So we're all dry now. And what we're going to do is just distress the front here. So you can see where we've got the um, kind of embossed look. What I'm going to do is get a little bit of sandpaper. Just tear a little bit off there. And we're going to very lightly go over the, um, the lettering so this basically makes it stand out can you see the end there what i've started to do so just do it very very lightly and you don't have to do this but i just think it's nice and it just helps it to you know just gives it a little bit of that kind of older shabby chic kind of look so can you see there so i'll do that with the rest and then what we're going to do is to decoupage it with a napkin there we go so obviously everyone you do they're going to look slightly different 
because they're all sort of hand hand finished so now what we're going to do is to go for our napkin now i've had a look through my little napkin stash napkins are really they're easy to find you can find a lot online um, you can also find some in supermarkets and things like that. So just have a look about and, you know, while you're out and about, just pick up a few. And I thought this one would be quite nice because we've got these flowers kind of going around the edge. And normally what we do, we get our paintbrush and we go sort of around and then we sort of make it jagged and we put it on that way. But I'm going to do it slightly different. So with the flowers here, I'll show you what I've been doing with this one. I just literally cut this out to start with just to kind of make it easier and obviously we can keep this part of the napkin because we can use that for another project now you need your little scissory skills for this because what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut as close as I can to the actual design on the napkin now there will be some bits that I have to um, leave on like between the middle of the stalks or something like that um, but I'm just going to literally go round. These are not the best scissors to use, but we just follow round as much as we can. And then we're going to glue it on. Now the glue that I've got, you can use PVA glue. Just water it down. Ratio wise, I'll show you mine and then you can sort of see. I just tip a bit in. I mean, you can use other things as well, but... PVA glue works just as well. Let me show you this one that I've done. Blue Peter style, one I prepared earlier. So can you see? It's quite pretty, but we're going to glue that on. I'm just going to do the other one as well because we need to stick two on. So what we're going to do to start with is separate our napkin very carefully. Obviously, we've got three ply and we just want the top little bit. So there's one. So delicate. Okay, so we've got that there. And then we're going to put some of our watered down PVA. Put some on the side. Then it doesn't matter if it's not exactly on the bit that you want, just as long as it's, you know, if it, if it goes over, it's fine. Get your little dangly. I'm fixing it tricky, haven't I, really? And then you just literally pop it on like that. And then very, very, very carefully, just dab it down with your brush. I think you can probably see I've knocked a bit of the paint off there. I've just knocked it off from my brush, but we can patch that up. You see, once you spray it with lacquer, that won't happen. Okay, so what we're going to do now is leave that. I'm not going to touch that anymore because I'll knock, I'll knock more paint off and I'll break this. So I think I'm going to put one down the bottom here because I think that will look quite pretty. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll just kind of smooth that a little bit. You could get like a little bit of a cling film or a little bit of a poly bag or something. And just sort of smooth those wrinkles out. Um, but as you can see, it's coming on quite nicely. I'm just going to carefully put the other the other one on now. And there we go. So the other one's on the bottom there. So what I'm going to do is do the other two. And then I'll show you what to do next because we need to seal over the top. But how cool do they look? They're coming on really lovely, aren't they? So really, you've got some choices what you can use them for. I think they'd make a really, really nice vase. Get a nice, you can even get like fake flowers. You can use real flowers. Obviously, make sure you seal them first, which we're going to do. But they would make fantastic vases, wouldn't they? 
And talking of vases, I just want to quickly show you what they look like with some flowers in. I've just popped some artificial flowers in the top. Uh, make sure you seal them first, which I'm going to show you how to do in a second. But I think you'll agree they look really cute as a vase. You could also use them, pen pots, get the right size and use pen pots. Um, kitchen utensils, you can use them in the kitchen. You can put straws in them. You can do all sorts of different things. Now, if you look about cheap shops, you can get these little stickers. So they do a tea, a coffee, a sugar sticker. You can also use the vinyl cutter and cut out your own vinyl and stick those on the front. So obviously these ones, let me just open this packet and show you. You get all sorts of different, um, like, you know, tea, coffee, sugar. You actually get two sets, so you can do all sorts. But so if you haven't got like a vinyl cutter, you could maybe use these. So let's just pull the tea one off and see how this sticks on so let's just move those out of the way a second what about if we put them around about there look at that that looks cool doesn't it so if you want to do your tea sugar um and coffee jars let me pull those off so if you don't have a a vinyl cutter then you can you can just get something like this. Let me stick that one on. There we go. So you can make those into some little tea, coffee and sugar canisters. So what I'm going to do now is seal them. So you need a good sealer, um, like a wax finish, like a varnish, um, just to make sure they're really sealed. You can spray varnish them, but something that's heat proof would be really, really good. I'm just going to go over that now and um, then leave them to dry. There we go. So that is our tea, coffee and sugar pots all done. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to check out Readly. I'll leave the link for that in the description down below. It's a fantastic offer. Even if you just go for the six weeks free and then you can cancel at any time. You can have six weeks free reading on us. So hopefully you're all okay. Keeping safe and well. And I will see you again soon. So you take care. Bye for now.